are going to make something very fun today. Hey, my organic family, welcome back. I'm excited. This is your girl, the organic sister. If you tuned into our previous video where we showed you how to make tea, then you're going to be excited about today's video. Today, we're going to take it a little bit further, but before we do that, we just kind of want to circle back and what is tea? Now, the reason for our madness for learning about tea is so that we can get you to here, which is actually making natural medicine. As you guys know, I love tea. And the beauty of tea is that not only does it taste good, it actually can be medicinal. For example, echinacea. You guys know about echinacea. You've heard about it so many times. Echinacea is good for cold and flu, just like mullein. Chamomile is great for rest and relaxation. So just think about some of these herbs and their properties. We are going to make something very fun today. So today we're going to make a concoction called an oxymel. It's not an oxymoron, but it's medication. And if you've never heard about it, oxymel is acid and honey. Acid and honey, does that make good sense? Well, actually it does. It is an old native folk remedy that works so well in natural medicine. So if you haven't heard of it, I want you to learn what it is to do today. Our first step is gathering the ingredients for our oxymel. The first ingredient is vinegar. I like to use apple cider vinegar. You can use white vinegar, but apple cider vinegar is a lot better because it has natural probiotics and prebiotics. You also need honey. Any kind of honey would do. Um, preferably um, local sourced honey is best. But today we're going to use some honey that we purchased at the store. And we have our herbs. Now, this is an herb blend that I've already pre-made, and it's something that we use here in the apothecary. It is our immune tea, and our immune tea is a power-packed herb garden of natural herbs such as echinacea. We also have a little bit of chamomile. We also have lemon peel, lemon balm, lemon verbena. We have mint and mullein. And so all of these things, along with ginger, are synergistic in building your immune system. So today, our oxymel will actually be a immunity tea oxymel. Now that we've gathered our ingredients, we have our herb blend, we have our honey, and we have our apple cider vinegar. We're now going to put this in a mason jar. Today, I'm using a 32-ounce mason jar. And when you're making your oxymel, I want you to determine what is your volume. For example, if you're going to make a 16 ounce, if you're going to make a 32 ounce, that's important because when it comes to your ratios, I want you to think about one part this, two parts that, or three parts this. So because I love a strong um, decoction, what I typically do is two parts honey, one part vinegar and then one part herb. This for me is a strong decoction and I like it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one part herb. So for today, we're gonna use one cup of herbs. So I'm measuring out my herbs. Now it doesn't have to be exact, but I do try to level it off. And then we're gonna pour this into our mason jar. If you're smart, you use a funnel. But today we're going away. <laughs> and so forgive the mess, but you get the gist of it. So I'm using one cup of fresh dried herbs. To this, I'm going to add two parts honey. So that is going to be two cups of um, honey.
Now, because I am using apple cider vinegar with the mother, mothers, I'm going to shake this up. Make sure I have it all mixed together. And then I'm going to pour one cup of apple cider vinegar. As you can see, this jar is not full. You don't have to fill it up with herbs, but you can. But because I don't want to refrigerate this mixture, I want my ratio of honey to be stronger and more in volume than everything else so that I don't have to refrigerate this. So what you're going to do is put the cap on it. And you're going to twist this and you're going to mix this up. And every day for two weeks, what you're going to do is just gently invert this just two or three times every day. And then you're going to store this in a cool, dark, dry place. Okay, guys, you see how easy this is to make? Making your own medications does not have to be daunting. Making an oxymel is a great weapon in your tool chest. It's a great arsenal for you to have this cold and flu season. When you're thinking about your oxymels, I don't want you to necessarily think about you have to make something for the cold, the winter um, season. You can do this with anything. For example, you know that there are herbs that are great for relaxation. So this will apply if you're doing something with chamomile, with lavender, with kava kava and passion flower. All of those herbs um, synergistically together in an oxymel will actually help promote restful sleep and relaxation. You can equally do this for something where you're having problems with digestion. Herbs such as psyllium husk, cascarda, marshmallow root are very good for easing the stomach. Anything with ginger almost always helps relieve nausea and vomiting. So making your oxymel is a great opportunity for you to maybe delay um, going to the doctor. I know that there's just so many people that are afraid to go to the doctor. You know, you're worried about these little critters, these little bugs that we're getting. And so having your own tool chest where you can make your own medicine, I think, is a great weapon for you. The standard dosage for most oxymels for children under the age of eight to two years old will be about a half a teaspoon up to three times a day. If you are an adult, one teaspoon up to three times a day will be an effective dosage for you. Thank you, my organic family. I'm so glad you joined me today. If you're enjoying this type of content, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you, my organic family. I'll see you in the next video. Organic system with the family vibes. Let it tap on in, cause it's 12 o'clock.